Attention local Floridians and Central Florida travelers. If you have not yet explored Lakeland and the modern craft food hall known as the Joinery, then this is for you. The Joinery is a foodie paradise and may be the best kept secret in the greater Orlando area. Bon Appetit. It turns out they call Lakeland, Lakeland because there's so many damn lakes. And we're right beside Lake Mirror where apparently there's lots of places to eat and drink. We're going to the Joinery, but I have to say, this is a really, really nice place to walk around and have a drink. What do you think? Yeah, and there's the Amtrak Lakeland Station right next to it. So it's pretty cool. You can watch the trains go by. <gasps> Ooh, it is 40 degrees in Florida today. This happens like once every 10 years. <laughs> yeah, we're in our sweaters. This is the first time I've ever worn a sweater in Florida. <laughs> Same. We are at the joinery in Lakeland and they have a bunch of different vendors inside of this giant hall. We're pumped to check it out and I hear a cocktail shaker. That's a good sign. Let's do it. We love food halls because it allows us to sample great foods from multiple restaurants. It's kind of like assembling the perfect meal with no regards to the social norms of what foods go together. So if you are like us, then please do yourself a favor and go to the joinery. It has a craft cocktail bar, a burger and fry joint, sushi and poke bowls, street taqueria, handcrafted ice cream, wood fire pizza, and Japanese street food and ramen. We started with some Japanese specialties from Sabu. They have an intimidatingly good menu, and as hard as it was to pass up on their ramen, we just couldn't say no to the traditional steam buns. First order, honey chicken steam bun that my wife did a great job of not spilling on our child. That looks like crispy honey chicken. That's everything you want on a cold day. A hot steam bun. Soft, perfect, crispy chicken with honey all over it. It's like that perfect Asian touch to a southern style chicken tender. Love it. Next up, the fusion heaven of a sushi burrito. So for our first time to the joinery, which we just learned about this weekend and realized that this is a cool place to be. We've come in and they have like six or seven different like food trucks, food containers, each with different styles of food. So our goal is to get one thing from every uh, every container, every restaurant today, along with a couple of drinks to hold us over. So we already got started with the great uh, honey chicken bao bun. Now we're gonna get some uh, recommended sushi burrito. You ever heard of a sushi burrito? Me neither. Time to give it a try today. We have the land and sea sushi burrito that has tempura shrimp and tempura chicken and all sorts of deliciousness like eel sauce and a spicy aioli and they have a water jug container full of soy sauce that you just hold underneath and you just put the soy sauce in it so when we asked a local about what to get at the joinery the first suggestion was the sushi burrito apparently this has become a lakeland legend it's a beautiful mashup and it's well worth using your baby's head as a plate At first you get that seafood kind of taste because of the burrito wrap, but then you're hit with all of the amazing flavors inside. Like the eel sauce and the spicy mayo. So good. I've never tasted anything like that. That's incredible. Sushi burrito. I'm a fan. Two for two. Next, we needed liquid calories. Fortunately, the joinery features a full service bar with craft cocktails, local beers, and super friendly bartenders. I have the Get Out Maguey. It's got mezcal and citrus and a little dehydrated jalapeno and egg white. Good. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> That's amazing. That's high praise from her. I've never had a beet alcoholic drink before, but they sold me on the Beat Goes On, which is one of the prettiest drinks I've ever seen for such a dainty fellow such as myself.
it's earthy and citrusy at the same time. I've never thought I'd have a drink that's both of those. That is really unique and good. Beware, there are side effects to drinking a beet drink. The tongue is a casualty. You know what's cool about this place? There is no judgment whatsoever about bringing your kid to the bar. In fact, they even gave our baby a dehydrated lemon to suck on. That's service, folks. Okay, we've been to, what, three of them so far? Uh -huh. You impressed yep. thus far? Yes, it's okay. amazing. We went to Acho Sushi, the burrito bowls. We went to Sabu for the uh, pork, or the chicken bao bun. And, and now we've had two cocktails and a beer at the bar. Uh -huh. All good so far. I think we're going to get some tacos and pizza and french fries next. So we just went to Galito Taqueria for something called a puffy taco, which I thought was a dirty sexual maneuver. But apparently it is a deep fried and fluffed taco that looks like this. So we have two for uh, husband and wife enjoyment. Cheers. Have you ever had like a taco bowl salad? A salad with like a taco bowl shell? That tastes like that in taco form. Excellent. The crunch, you love the crunch? That's all for you. Now I'm going to watch my wife try to eat this without spilling it on our daughter's head. Mm-hmm. The crunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I want it, I want it. You want to try some? One piece of cheese? <laughs> Are we unsure? <laughs> She's very clearly is trying to take a sip of this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a milk stout. That's what she likes. Look at her. <laughs> no, you can't have it. Napoli may be a long journey away, but Ava keeps the Italian spirit alive with authentic Neapolitan pizza. They have the best pizzas, you have to come here. <laughs> Fresh Neapolitan pizza from the Ava Neapolitan Pizzeria. This looks pretty good, so if we're gonna end on this, I'm not mad about it. It's got cup of char pepperoni, which is our favorite, because it holds the grease in the way our fat ass is like. And time for the first bite. There's been no bad food item here. It's everything you want it to be. Extra mozzarella cheese that oozes out, crispy thin crust, and cup of char pepperoni with grease. Perfection. Beware of tiny fingered beer thieves. We didn't think we could hit all stops, and we only missed one, but we did get Mayday ice cream, which is one of the best ice creams here in Florida. And we have the Gillespie bourbon pecan ice cream on a pretzel cone. And I'm gonna surprise Michelle, and I think she's gonna like it. Yep, she's gonna like it. Because we've had ice cream. It's bourbon pecan. Yeah, yeah. Is Michelle mad at me for getting ice cream? Yeah. Because it's so good, we actually returned to the joinery to sample what we had missed. We got a delicious hot chicken sandwich from Super Duper Dot, great barbecue, and of course, more cocktails. We just finished at the joinery in the Lakeland area, and what do you think, Michelle? Speechless. 
This was so freaking cool. We're a big fan of like depot type complexes with different places you can eat or drink within. And this is one of the top ones in Central Florida. Uh, I mean, yes, we spent the last four hours here. <laughs> We've been here a long time. Like our baby has grown up before our eyes here. Uh, I will say this place was amazing. Every food stop we had, and we only missed one, and I'm coming back for burgers next time. Yes, uh-huh. But every food stop we had was amazing. But the bar, Holly, shout out to Holly, our bartender. Holly was amazing. I love her so much, and she has the coolest aesthetic ever. Yeah, this was an outstanding experience more proof that central florida has more than you can possibly know more what to do with. more than theme parks more than theme parks yeah there's restaurants there's places the to drink word. yeah that's cool good self-edit this was well worth our time the joint the joinery we will be coming back a hundred percent and right around the corner the poor porker we were going to leave lakeland but we walked right across from where we just were at the joinery to the pool porker. Is the that, poor porker. The poor porker. I've clearly had one too many cocktails, but the poor porker, where they serve different variations of beignets. And as a former Louisiana kid, I love a beignet. I got a maple bacon version called the porker and also a Vietnamese coffee. And look at this little hut we're in. So I, what are we supposed to do? Not do this? It's an old camper. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. It's so pretty cute. this is how we'll end this particular Lakeland experience. Sadly, since we have filmed this segment, the poor porker has permanently closed its doors. It will be replaced by an equally cool concept called Unfiltered Lakeland. But we wanted to share this unique Lakeland gym because it was such an eclectic communal spot for great beer and conversation. As you can see, it's eye candy for the Instagram crowd, and it specializes in one particular food that we are happy to report will live on in the new establishment. As I mentioned, I'm a sucker for a beignet. As a former Louisiana kid, a beignet is a very special thing. If you haven't had one, you need to make a trip to New Orleans to try it. But when you do a specialty version of a beignet, such as a the porker, the maple bacon, ah, maple bacon beignets, it's literally dripping off with the maple syrup. You can see the bacon bits on top and still loaded with powdered sugar, like freaking sweetness cocaine. I am so excited for this. Sweetness cocaine. Mm. <sighs> mm. That's a savory beignet. Oh, the beauty of a beignet, it. the inside's hollow, right? It's like a big mm -hmm. freaking air pocket of dough. But that is a perfectly crisped beignet. And that, I've never had bacon on one. The fact that it's sweet and savory, I'm impressed. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> you jealous? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to improve a beignet, but yeah, that's So you like the savory? Good. No, that's very good. Okay, we need to go because it's actually too cold here in a Florida town. We need to go because our baby's getting cold. However, we don't regret the stop, do we? Nope, not at all. Lakeland's got a lot to offer. We will be coming back to both of these places. Indeed. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to see more adventures, sometimes Florida-based, sometimes worldly, on the Caleb Goes West.